Hello and welcome to The Body Coach TV. My name's Joe Wicks and this is my brand new series of workouts called First Steps to Fitness. And I've designed this two week challenge with the ultimate beginner in mind. And what we're gonna try and do is do three sessions a week for the next two weeks. They're 15 minute workouts and you can do it any day that suits. Um, I do recommend having a rest day in between each one. So maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for example, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Have that rest period just to recover, re-energize yourself and come back for the next workout. And I really wanna take you from sedentary and inactive, maybe low energy, low mood, to take you on a journey, waking up your joints, getting your muscles moving, you know, building up your energy, and also giving you the confidence and the motivation to hopefully continue long after these two weeks, because we know that exercise changes our body, but it also really boosts our mental health, changes the way we feel about ourselves. And so that's my mission, to take you from, you know, not wanting to do it, to doing it, to loving it, and to continuing the journey uh, long into the future, hopefully with me uh, here on The Body Coach TV or on The Body Coach app if you fancy it. So what we're gonna do is 15 minutes, three times a week. But the great thing is, we're only gonna work for 30 seconds on each exercise and rest for 30 seconds. So essentially, it's a low impact, low intensity workout where you're really only actually working out for seven and a half minutes a day, which is a small little bit, it's bite sized, it's manageable, and I promise these little workouts are gonna build up and set you off um, on a journey to hopefully doing 20 minute workouts, 30 minute workouts, and you're gonna just, you're gonna love it. So let's have fun with it, let's take our time. The first exercise, nice and simple, is gonna be marching on the spot. So obviously, the higher you lift your knees, the more challenging it's gonna be, the faster you go, the harder it's gonna be. Go at a pace that suits you, but essentially, we're just lifting our knees up. So 30 seconds of marching, that's our first move, nice and simple. Are you ready? This is step number one of first steps to fitness, marching on the spot, let's go. Right, so 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 30 second rest. And obviously, keeping those arms nice and straight, um, drive the arms and lift the knees up. If that's too difficult though, keep the feet a bit lower. And again, just slow it down. I'm trying to get you just to basically raise your heart rate for 30 seconds, as high as you can, and then we drop it, we recover, and then we go again for the next exercise. So there's five moves, three rounds. It's gonna be over before you know it. Okay, lifting those knees, and rest. Perfect, right, we're off. First step complete. Next exercise, what we're gonna do, we're basically gonna step, we're sort of gonna step and throw a punch. So stepping sort of side to side, Obviously, you can, if you can, sort of kick the heel just to activate your hamstring, so you sort of kick and punch. If that's too hard though, just do a little step, step. Obviously, when you bring that heel kick in, what you're doing is you're activating your hamstrings there, so you're waking up these muscles. Here we go, so punch and kick, left to right, nice straight arms, punching out in front, just eye line, so eye level, and kicking that right and left foot back. So you're trying to sort of kick the heel if you can, towards your bum. That's waking up those hamstrings in the back of the legs. Excellent, so look, this is it. It's not too intense. You can obviously slow things down or go a little bit faster. Four, three, two, one, and rest, perfect. Right, next exercise, we're gonna wake up these quads now, so the legs. So what we're gonna do is a squat. Now, obviously, squatting down is about range of motion. It's about the, the mobility in your ankles, it's about your hips um, and also how strong your legs are. But don't feel you have to go right down into that position. You can just do a little half rep. So I'm gonna use my arm for us to stretch up. So bend the knees, stretch up. Again, obviously the deeper you go in that position, the, the more muscles you're gonna use and activate. So you find a position, feet flat on the floor and reach up. So we're trying to just bend those legs slightly. Again, you don't have to go right down. You can just do a shallower sort of squat, but we're bending the legs and straightening those arms above the head as well. So down and up, slow controlled reps, trying to keep those heels planted flat on the ground. So we squat down and come up. And again, you can slow things down slower. Arms come up, stretch. We're trying to really open up our lats a little bit and relax, perfect. One of the things I'll say is if you're coming up onto your, the balls of your feet like this, it's because you maybe got like tight hips or ankles. So and calves as well. So sometimes that's happening, turn the feet out a little bit wider and it will just let you keep those feet slightly flatter on the ground. So you wanna drive through the heels of the feet. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna get arms out to the side. So waking up our shoulders, keep those locked out. And then we're gonna step back. So it's like a reverse lunge. Obviously if you can, you go right down, but that's much harder. So you can either reverse lunge or just step back, keeping those arms 
nice and straight. So you can feel your shoulders already having to work. So arms out. So what we're trying to do is take ourselves through a range of exercises that are waking up all the muscles. So even that is hard, just keeping your arms out because you're having to activate your deltoids, your shoulders. So a little step back, step in left, right, keep the arms straight as you can towards the you know, parallel to the ground and rest. So obviously, yeah, that, that is an easier exercise when you're just stepping like this. The more you bend those legs, you're stepping into more of a lunge. That's obviously a bit more advanced. So do what you can. But um, again, this is about your muscles may have not done, may not have done exercise for a while. So you are going to feel a bit of stiffness. The lower you go, the more reps you do. So step, step back and slight scale it if you need to. Okay, next exercise we're going to do basically like a star jump, like a slow motion version of a star jump. If you want to go a bit quicker, you can just jump straight into it. So you can jump into a star jump or just step. So we go left to right, arms above the head. So this is a sort of modified version of a star jump. And again, this is about building yourself up. This is day one, right? You're, you're laying the foundations. You don't have to be doing burpees and squat jumps and really intense stuff. This is about, like I said, the word is waking up your muscles because sometimes that's what they need. Like, you know, if you've sat in a chair, you go down and come up. So for you to do even 10 squats, that's something you may not have done for a while. Your muscles are going to feel it, your quads, your, you know, your hamstrings, you're going to feel it the next day. So don't go too low and don't do too many reps if you're literally the ultimate beginner right now, yeah? Right, well that's one round complete, that went pretty quick. So we're now going to go through those same exercises. Um, again, 30 seconds. So we're going to march. If you do want to go a bit more intense, obviously go into a jog. But I'm going to just keep it as a march. So march, knees come up, march on the spot. 30 seconds. And the most important thing is just to push yourself, but don't overexert yourself just yet. We are going to be doing three sessions this week and three sessions the next week. And so we sort of layer it up. We're going to build it up a little bit each time, put a little bit of more energy, a bit more kind of motivation on each workout. And they're all different. Every workout is slightly different. And relax, right. So we're doing good. This is it. I actually get a lot of joy. I do love doing the advanced stuff, but I get so much joy taking someone who's a real beginner, who's really unfit, out of shape, unconfident, and like taking them on a journey. And so this is it. This is our journey. So come with me, stay with me, three times a week for the next two weeks, 15 minutes a day. So here we go, we're going to go back in with a step and the punch. So it's really going to be sort of low impact. There's nothing too jumpy or uh, we're not putting a lot of effort or like we're not going to put a lot of strain on the wrists either. Most of the exercises are going to be standing up, just sort of cardio based and just sort of gentle um, strength exercises. So again, step, kick that leg back. So you, you are really having to work those hamstrings and you kick that heel back. If that's too tough, tough just, just step, keep the foot down, keep the foot low, bring it in if you want to kick the hamstrings up and rest. Brilliant. This is lovely, right? What a lovely day, the sun's shining. Um, next exercise is gonna be the squat to the reach up. So obviously, like I said, you can squat down low as you want, but really, really go a bit shallower if it's the, if it's the first set of squats done in a while, because we're doing three sets of these. So just bend the knees, reach up, bend, oh, and we're trying to obviously keep the feet flat on the ground. So you can go really parallel, but if you want to turn it a bit wider, drop down, reach up. So we're trying to stretch those arms up, keeping the feet flat on the floor, driving through the heels of the feet. You might find as well that you're sort of one of your knees or two, both your knees buckling like this, so, you know, like, and they might be a bit wobbly. Try and like keep a really strong support, supported base and drive the knees out. So you're driving your knees out, feet flat on the floor, drive the knees out. So not buckling in, like push them in, push them out and squeeze and stretch up. That's it, perfect. So as I said, even three sets of these, you are going to feel it if you haven't done it for a while. So that's why having a day's rest in between, get a good night's sleep, drink plenty of water, have a you know a good day's eating, and then you're going to recover and repair and rest, and then you can come back in to the next next exercise, next workout. So remember, arm up to the side. We're keeping those locked out, locked out, and then we're just going to step back with those arms, uh, with those feet. So step feet together, step, feet together, 
And like I said, the more you bend those knees, the more muscle you're going to use. So don't go too low. The aim is obviously one day you're dropping that knee to the ground. And keep those arms locked. So tense your fists. Tense your fists. Squeeze your shoulders like tense everything. Keep those arms pinned back. So you're actually working your shoulders and your upper back, the muscles in your scapula, your shoulders. Right, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. So already like that's even not even holding a weight, but you can still feel these muscles here having to work and all your postural muscles. So we're trying to not just lift them up, squeeze them back. So like retract your shoulder blades. So it's arms out and squeeze back. Work all those muscles there. Right. Next up, we've got the star jumps. So that's a faster version or you slow it down. So less impact, arms come up, feet back together. Here we go. Second round step. It's a really short work. As I said, it's seven and a half minutes of work and only seven and a half minutes of rest. So it's, it's manageable and it's a, it's a confidence builder, right? This is about just giving yourself that reminder that you can do it, that exercise is good for you, that you're going to feel better afterwards. And I always say, you know, exercise is great for the body, but the mind as well, that you release stress and anger and frustration and any negative any negative stuff that's going on in your mind, we're just shaking it off a little bit, we're releasing it. So I always say that, I repeat that message so much that it's about the mind. I think if you can, if you can, if you can control the mind, you can control the body and the transformation comes. So always come back to that, like if you're tired, if you're stressed, if you're not in the mood for it, that's when you should come back to it because you always feel better afterwards. That's the pull, that's the draw that's gonna get you back. Not just losing weight and inches and stuff. Right, this is it, third round. Marching on the spot, we're two rounds complete, last one. So marching, again, pick up the speed if you want, or just really slow it down. And you, you could, look, this is fine, even just doing that. Even bringing your knees off is something, right? Your heart's working, your body's having to push blood around the body, and your muscles are working. Even if you bring them up a tiny bit, you're doing something. So let's go, marching, and obviously if you want to, you can jog, go into a jog if you need to. Right, this is it, step one. First steps to fitness. We're going into the, to the punch and the kicks. Remember, you can just step, step side to side. You don't have to do the heel kick, it takes more balance. But if you want to, just bring that heel, kick it up to your bum and feel your, your hamstrings there. Not having to work, you're kind of doing a hamstring curl. Kick, punch, go at your pace. Here we go, you ready? You're doing well. This is great. I get a massive buzz out of knowing that people at home are doing this with me and are feeling good. That's what it's about, you know. It's about picking up your vibe, your energy, your mood, and you know, finishing it and just saying, "Yeah, I've done something." You know, it wasn't an hour, it wasn't half an hour, but 15 minutes. It's better than nothing. It's something. It's a start. And I promise, if you finish this two-week challenge with me, you do these 15 minutes a day for three days a week, you're going to go right. I'm ready. I'm ready for 20 minutes a day and you'll gradually build up and you'll get to that point where you know you're you're doing three or four regular workouts a week feeling the benefits you will start to build muscle you'll start to lose body fat you'll start to get leaner and stronger and ultimately you know your mind your mindset and your mental health is going to be elevated on those on those days you train you're going to feel so much better for it so next one we've got the squat and the reach up so we're squatting down and we reach up so remember you don't have to go right down just go as shallow as you want that's fine, just even the tiniest bend. It's working something, it's working those muscles. Just keep those feet flat on the ground. Reach up with those arms. Excellent. 20 seconds to go. Chopper, right. Stretch and up. 10 seconds left. Let's get a little bit lower if you want to, or just stay in that shallower range. Bend and stretch up. Excellent, so look, that's it. You know, those muscles have got worked. Quads, your hamstrings, your glutes have activated. And like I said, I'll say that word again, sometimes it's just about waking them up, letting your body know you've got these muscles and they need to get stronger. So for every set of squats you do, you cut your legs get stronger, every set of press ups, your chest, your triceps, everything gets stronger. And that's what it's about. The challenge is, can I get strong? Not can I lose weight, can I lose inches? It's can I get stronger, can I get fitter? Can I feel happier? Remind yourself of those things. Arms out to the side, and we're gonna step back again. So remember, 
clench those fists, don't let them drop like this, keep them horizontal, really tense your shoulders and squeeze back, like retract, retract, so you're working those muscles in your back. Step back, come on, step in, step in back, birds are tweet inlet. Okay, five seconds, so arms are straight, I know they wanna drop, keep them up, keep them up, and relax. Amazing, right, this is it. Final exercise, number 15. So remember, if you wanna go a bit quicker, you can jump into the star jumps, or slow it down by doing the old big steps with the arms up. So stretching up and lifting those arms up. This is great, this is an amazing way of starting. This is something, right? Because this could have been a day you do nothing and you just sat on the sofa and today you've taken the first step to actually to, to you know getting stronger and building up your fitness and it's it's an ongoing journey as well like this challenge is a two-week challenge but fitness and and mental health and strength you've got to work on it you know you really have and you've got to remember this is something i always believe that life is better with exercise you know life feel, everything feels easier when you're getting a good night's sleep when you're exercising when you're eating well and you deserve to be happy, you deserve to have energy, and you deserve to be happy. Right, last few seconds, come on. Step up. Yes, there we go. It's that simple. 15 minutes, three days a week for the next two weeks. I'll be posting a new workout. You can just go on to the next stage when you're ready. You could do it if you want straight after, you know, the day after, but I think having a rest day in between is really good for your body, and um, just to recover, have that bit of rest. And if you are new to fitness and you haven't trained for a while, expect a bit of soreness, a bit of tightness, uh, it's called DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. It's totally normal, last couple of days, and um, you're not injured, you're not damaged, it's, it's kind of like micro trauma to the muscle. And what's happening is, it's, it's burning calories, it's rebuilding, it's building stronger muscles, so it's a good thing, you know, it's a good thing. It means your body's actually saying, right, I've got to get stronger. So listen, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you loved it. That's just step number one. We've got uh, six workouts over the next two weeks. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. If you want to find out more about um, my Body Coach app, you can visit thebodycoach.com where I have a tailored um, you know, meal plan to go alongside the training program. And there's a beginner plan on there as well. So if you're going from this, that's a great kind of thing to step onto. Uh, but if not, YouTube's always here. I've got hundreds of workouts and there's loads for you to do. There's beginner, there's intermediate, there's advanced. So you know, I've got something for everyone and I really want, I want the exercise to be accessible and I really believe in that. So listen, well done for completing step number one. Have an amazing day, have a stretch, and I'll see you soon for day number two of the first step to fitness challenge. Take care.